I think it's definitely going to happen. I think there are three things that have to uh, enter the awareness of all U.S. institutions. That is one that, and this is the thing that motivated our, at least our credit union initially, is that uh, U.S. cards with Mac stripes only do not work for the most part overseas. Uh, customers of all institutions who attempt to transact, especially in very, um, you know, difficult situations where they have to keep moving like in a transit situation, they will not get their card accepted. And that was a big concern to us. Secondly, um, I believe that um, the evidence is there that more fraud from Max Stripes is moving towards the U.S. because so many other countries uh, do not use the Max Stripe technology anymore. Um, and for our institution, we are greatly exposed all over the world. We're a U.S.-based institution but we have customers all over the world, and basically if there's some type of skimming uh, fraud that's occurring somewhere in the world, it's gonna come back to us in some way. Third thing is that, is that I think that EMV will be viewed positively by customers as an investment in their safety. It's like a chicken and an egg story. Um, issuers have to start. I believe that if the technology is out there, that uh, merchants will we'll answer the call. We see that happening with Walmart already and we're hearing that Target is, is also setting up um, a potential EMV terminal rollout program. The acceptance factor was the main driver for us and the customers are absolutely delighted with a card that they can use everywhere when they travel. And what happened is that our usage on the card segment that received the chip has skyrocketed and we're seeing huge demand for increased credit lines on cards that are already open um, as well as lots of new applications and we see our, our purchase rate on these cards um, about 18 percent higher than it was for the same segment a year ago so I mean that's a significant bonus besides uh, having greater safety um, you know, we're actually making money on the higher volume. I think it's extremely significant. Um, basically, there, it's very easy to purchase devices that can be put on Mac Stripe only terminals. Um, my understanding is that in certain parts of the world where there's, you know, no regulation for this, no oversight, that it becomes almost like sport and, and entrepreneurs, you know, fraud, fraudulent entrepreneurs just try to do this to try to, because they believe that the money is out there for their taking. Uh, U.S. institutions have not had a catastrophe with this yet, but I think it's, it's well in the realm of possibility.